Welcome to Single Instant Event Subscribers. Hey, I'm Eric, and I um, actually want to say something that, that I'm, I'm trying to make a small change to the channel, meaning that Monday videos are you no know, deep dives, hacking, whatever it is. Thursday videos are going to hopefully be shorter, like uh, tips and tricks and stuff like that. Uh, a tick tock model so to speak um so uh, and this is a thursday video so let's see if i can keep this under 10 minutes let's go anyway the topic of today is a single instance event subscriber which is when you've just here you think those are two very unrelated things um but let me show you what i'm talking about um so here i am working to i want to subscribe to uh to an event because i i have a task where i need to get a date and a time to uh to do something so i look at my event and i find the the code unit that uh that i know the events that have the process that i'm, I'm working with and it's called the trouble code unit because that's a great name for a code unit. Um, and I find the, the event that I want to subscribe to. In this case, it's the second event. Um, we'll just do all the good stuff we need to do here. So let's go down and look at the parameters. I need the date and I need the time. Okay, so on this event for, you know, Whoever wrote this trouble code unit clearly did not give me everything I need at this spot. So I only got the time. Um, and so I can't really do what I need to do here. Um, but then let's see if there's another event. Uh, so let me subscribe to the other event in this code unit and that was the, the trouble code unit again. Uh, we'll just do this really quick. Hang on. Wow, that's not quick. Uh, true, true. There we are, basically. Mm -hmm. So let's subscribe to the other one, the first event. Uh, and see, okay, here we get a date, we get a number, and we get a number text for some reason. Um, so my problem is that what I need to do is actually do something where I get both the date and the time. And this is where the single instance comes in. So, and, and this is a trick that I have used in several places where suddenly you have, let me see, let's take a look at trouble for a second here then we can see that even though this is clearly the greatest code of all time, um, there is an event here that we call with the date, however that is common. Then there's the other event where we get the time, a time. Ignore that it's to the end time. It's just to make it a simple exp uh, explanation here. Um, but the problem is that I clearly, at the time of the second event, I would need the date. So the simple idea is that if we make this guy single instance, then there will only be one, even though if you're subscribing, so suddenly we can go and create a bar section and do save date, save date. Uh, and then in the, I should probably do these different, so. So when we're subscribing to the first one, we can go and then we can say that the save date is actually the date parameter here. Um, so now up here, we can then you know, create date time from the save date from the first event and the time we're getting from, and, and, and ignore my stupid variable names that are uh, colliding with function names. Know that. Um, so the basic idea is that because of this is now a single instance, we can actually 
subscribe to another event as long as it happens before and we know that it's happening every time that's important then we can just save the value and then use it at the uh, let's do, just do something stupid so we don't have a, an error message here uh, then 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 we can use that at the second event so what we need to make sure is that this one is always triggered before this one uh, so we cannot have uh, that if some condition then this one might not trigger uh, then if you got if you if you're unsure about a, a situation like that you could have uh, perhaps there's a, a on in it um, I'm not allowed to do that I'm um, there it is a code action does the event creation for me so now I, I know i have something at the beginning so i can do a uh, a subscription to ooh, well let me do t events up code unit code unit this is the not the rubble but the trouble uh on in it let's get rid of all these guys and then we can do save date equal zero date or something like that so we are sure that by the way usually i i tend to um re rename my subscribers after the event that makes it easier to read or perhaps either call them subscriber or just call them the event uh, so this little trick has saved me a bunch of times uh, because quite often and I and I'm guilty of this also in some of my apps that sometimes you create and say okay <laughs> this will probably be a good spot to add in an event because maybe people want to do something in this spot but it's really really hard to always know what variables what values should the event be served and in giving it 25 parameters is not really an option either that just makes it impossible for people to figure out uh, so so sometimes you come across things where ah man i'm truly missing a value that was available somewhere all uh, above this uh, and you can use the tricks anyway that's a short tips and tricks video uh i've done this a lot of times and i'm probably still going to do it because no event portfolio is is perfect uh, but they're always improving have fun let me know in the comments below if you like this style of videos uh and uh, let me know if this trick will help you or not um, and until next time have a wonderful day stay safe and i'll see you soon